friends and welcome back to another video. This is Flower Heart Plans. My name is Harley and today we are setting up my B6 Stalogy for the week of May 20th to the 26th. And to do that, we are going to use the Marabou Design by Brandy Brown collaboration with the Happy Planner sticker book. And it has some cute kind of summery stickers with lemons and fruit and I thought this would be a good sticker book to use because when life gives you lemons you make lemonade as they say and before I jump into it I do want to say that I did not post last week my B6 allergy video which is my favorite video to do and I missed that upload because unfortunately my mom was in the hospital she went in on Thursday. She is still there, but she's doing better than she was in the beginning. So that's good news. And I'm not going to say too much about it, but it was a stressful time for me, not only because my mom was in the hospital, but Jason was out of town that whole week. So I was home alone by myself trying to deal with a lot of things. Work was busy and, you know, all the normal stuff. But Really, I was just trying to be there for my mom and her spirits are very positive right now. So I'm happy about that. And I feel like I have the energy and brain power and mind space to plan again. Well, I have been planning, but it's a good thing that I decorated ahead in my B6 allergy because I was able to just jump in and write down my plans. I'll show you before we jump into the sticker book and washi tape. So the last week that I decorated with you all was the Shine Sticker Studio Week. And I'm actually pretty happy that these colors are bright. They're bringing me some kind of joy during this time. But I decorated this ahead. So um, I was able to just jump in right in my plans whenever I had the time. And so I have still been planning. I just haven't been playing with my stickers and decorating, which is the part of decorative planning that I love to do. So we are going to do that today. And I'm going to be positive throughout this video because I'm staying hopeful that things are going to get better and better. And so we are going to jump right in. So I want to thank you for being patient with me. I was going to put up a community post about, you know, not being able to make the upload on Sunday, but I decided to just take a break from social media altogether. And here we are. So this sticker book has lemons and flowers and moths and butterflies. And this was from, let's see what year. 2021 so it's not recent but it's a cute sticker book that I have not touched and this is the year of using my stash so we are going to use our stash and so to go with these stickers I have these washi tapes this one is a random washi tape by scotch it's an ombre yellow to pink color scheme and then we have this lemon an orange washi tape which came in a multi-pack from either Michaels or Hobby Lobby. Then we have this lemon washi tape that came from a multi-pack at Hobby Lobby. Then we have this floral that came from a multi-pack at Michaels, I think, <laughs> or Hobby Lobby. That's where I get most of my washi tape, if you haven't noticed. Um, but we are going to use these and I also had the idea to bring in the Simply Gilded Lemon Washi Tape, but I don't think the vibe of this washi tape, even though it's really cute and pretty, I don't think it goes with these stickers. So I'm probably not going to use it. I was going to use it with this gold scalloped washi tape. Yeah, I don't think the vibe goes. We need something more bright and vibrant. So we are going to get into it. And for those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. And I'm going to do a quick flip to show you how I plan. I usually do this on an empty week, but I don't have an empty week to show you. So I'm going to show you on a week that's already passed. So I do a weekly dashboard with my important to do's, habit trackers, a notes area, and then I do daily planning, a day per page. 
So we are going to do the same thing this week. I'm going to use, let's see, for the weekly dashboard, I think I'm gonna use this combination. And I'm just gonna alternate these two combinations at the top and bottom of the page like I like to do. So since it's been a while, I should ask, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing really well. I gave you a little bit of an update at the beginning of the video about my mom and she's doing better and better each day. So we are looking forward to the day when she can leave the hospital, but until now they are taking really good care of her. So she is in good hands. And that did not rip straight, so I'm going to cut it. I think because I put washi tape at the top every week, it's getting a hump that's hard to hard to manage sometimes. There is a trick that I've seen people do, which is they fold the book. Oh, I don't know if I could do this with the cover on. I might have to take the cover off, but you could fold the book on itself. And because of the spine of the Stalogy, it's able to do that. I would have to take it out of this cover in order to do that though. And I don't feel like messing with that. So I think this goes the opposite direction. So let's turn the book upside down. And put this at the bottom here. Yeah, so Jason was out of town all last week. He went to Florida to visit his aunt. He took a whole week off of work, which I'm so proud of him because he rarely takes a day off of work. Well, I shouldn't say rarely. He never takes a day off of work. And his vacation days were not going to roll over to next year. So he decided to use them and I'm glad that he did because he's been at that job for six or seven years and he has not taken a proper vacation in that entire time. So he had a grand old time while I stayed home because I couldn't get the time off of work. As you all know, I started my new job in February and I just could not get the time off. I couldn't take a whole week off of work. So I'm looking for, oh, first, I was going to say I'm looking for a, an area to put my weekly to-do list in, but I need a header to put in the dates at the top of the page. So let's see what we have in here. We do not have any in there. So let's get the Colorful Boxes sticker book by The Happy Planner. And let's just go with gold. That's simple enough. And it looks like I don't have any in this one, but I have another one. This is one of the sticker books that I keep in my rotation. I keep in stock in my sticker stash because I use it a lot because colorful boxes are always important. And if I could, I would buy up all of Mojo Jojo Plans sticker books, her box sticker books. She has boxes and other shapes and every color imaginable. And I would love to just have a collection of her sticker books to pull from whenever I need, but I haven't been able to get my hands on any of them. So we are going to stick to the Happy Planner for now. And I'm going to look for an area kind of like either this one or this one. I think I like this one that says looking ahead. This is a bit longer than what I usually use as my to-do list, but if it ends up being too much space, I could use it as a to-do list plus notes like I usually do. I have a notes area at the bottom. So this could be my to-do list at the top, notes at the bottom. 
and then we want habit trackers. And for habit trackers, I'm still trying to, as I say all the time, use my stash. And part of that includes using up this roll of habit trackers that I got a long time ago from the Happy Planner. So I'm going to use some of these. Let's just put an orange one here. I'm not gonna go down the whole length, maybe four or five habits will be enough. So we'll put those there and then we have yellow. The pink and purple ones won't really match. So we'll stick with the, the other colors. I'm thinking this turquoise green could go And we'll just roll this back up. And then we want a decorative box to set the tone for the week. And I think I'm just gonna go with this one that says, I was gonna say the Bright Ideas one because I love the big image of the lemon. But looking at the color scheme, I think I wanna add in some of this peachy color. So we'll use this one that says Life is Sweet because it is, even though life can be tough sometimes and life's not always fair, it's still important to be grateful for what we have and appreciate where we are in our journeys. Let's write in the dates at the top of the page. This is May 20th through the 26th. And let's see, what habits should I track? Oh, I need to cross off habits on here. I did do meds. I did journal Tuesday and Monday. Today is Wednesday. I did tidy up Tuesday and I did walking Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, leftover pizza. This is supposed to be a meal plan. I'm writing it in after the fact just because I didn't have time to plan my meals this week, but I do want to keep track of what we ate. So, what was I looking for? I turned to this, oh, I was looking for habits. I'm losing my mind. Okay, so walking tidy up meds journal. Let's use the 0.7. I use the Pinto Inner Gel and a 0.7 when I want something to be a little bit bolder. But when I'm writing in my planner, like this writing, I use the Pinto Inner Gel Clina in a 0.5. So we can write in the habits with the point seven. And what did I just say? I'm getting forgetful. Walking tidy up meds journal. And tidy up. I'm starting to feel the bump in this planner when I write. It's kind of squishy here. So I have to like push down so I have something solid to write on. meds and journal and I feel a little bit out of practice it's only been a week since I planned in here or since I decorated in here rather so I have to-do list and notes for this week we have a decorative box our habit trackers meal plan let's see what can we use for the meal plan one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, can't use that one. Do we have, we can use this dinner. And then let's try to find maybe dots for bullet points.
these bullet points, well, they're not bullet points, but these circles are a little bit too big. There are usually functional stickers in here. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could use this one. And I'll just write the first letter of the day of the week. So we'll put dinner here. And then let's use the yellow. Bring in some of that yellow to the page. And let's see if these line up with the boxes of the Stalogy. They do not, but I think I can make it work still. So I'll take my pen and write Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we just have this space over here. I don't think my meal plan will take up that much space to the right of it. So we can put some decoration. So let's see what decoration we want to put. I think there's a lot of deco in here. Uh, let's see. Also, because I'm filming this in the middle of the week on a Wednesday night after work, I might have to film in two parts because Jason is on his way home and we of course have to eat dinner tonight. So I might take a break to eat dinner and then I will be back to continue planning. And I don't know how much editing I'm going to do to this video either because I don't have that much time and I want to get this up on the channel. So I'm seeing small deco like icons, but nothing very big that stands out. So I think I'm just going to do some lemons. Let's do these flowers. And then let's do this lemon. And should I just go up? Or should I leave it as is? Oh, hold on one second. I just remembered I also have this sticker book called Fruit by Agenda 52 that has lemons in it. And I think I like these because they're bigger. So let's put these back onto the sticker book and let's use some of the bigger deco. I like this one here, the lemons and the flowers. That's cute. And I think that's all we need on the page really. But let's just take a quick flip to see what we have. These are really cute. I haven't used this sticker book either, but this is more of a summer themed sticker book. I kind of like these lemons here. I like the yellow flower, even though it has strawberries, not lemons. I like that color. I like this one. Let's see how this will look here. And it laid down on its own, so I guess it wants to go there. Hmm, I don't know if I love that, but can I get it back up? Oh, thank goodness, that came up very, very nicely. I think I'm just gonna leave it like it is. I'm going to leave it, even though it does just look really, really empty. Ha, 
how about if I just put this quote that says so sweet. Oh, but I have life is sweet. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm making this way harder than it needs to be. Let's just use this lemon here. I want something up here. I just don't know what. Okay, I think, I think that's all we need. So let's put this lemon back on the page and the weekly dashboard is done. So I'm also going to put down the washi tape on the rest of the pages. And this part I usually cut out so you don't have to sit through the whole thing, but I'm thinking that I will just keep going. And when I'm editing, I'll decide if it's too long or if you will just have to fast forward this part if you don't want to see it. We'll see again. I'm not going to do too much editing. I'm gonna try not to do too much editing to this. But I also want to be respectful of your time, so we will see. Come on, come on washi tape. We will see what compromise I come up with once it's all said and done. I can't get this washi tape, it's really sticky. And it might be old, cause it does not want to tear correctly. I don't think I've ever used this washi tape. And this is what I mean about using my stash because supplies don't last forever and I'd rather put it to good use than have it go to waste. Oh, there's actually extra space here because the other washi tape is thicker and I put my washi tape on too tight again so let's fix that. If you put the washi tape on too tight, it curls the page. And I know better than to put it on too tight, but it still happens from time to time. So this washi tape is not as tall as the one at the bottom of this page, but I think I'm just going to go to the bottom line. And it's not going to line up, but that's okay. I did it again. This is why I usually cut out this part because it takes a while for me to do this because I'm a bit clumsy and and I can't talk and put down washi at the same time. So let's put this here. And what else do I have to tell you? Oh, I got some happy mail. I got a new planner that I'm super, super excited about. I'm going to show it in my next video, but I might as well tell you what it is and not keep you in suspense. So I got a mini dashboard happy planner. And I'm super excited to have a planner that I can just play with, have fun, put stuff in, take stuff out because it's on discs and carry it around with me if it ends up not being too thick. But I'm going to actually put it on classic size discs, the medium size discs. So we'll see how much I stuff in there. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm going to 
try to film the before and after. Well, I'm going to try to film the before part of the video tonight so I can start setting it up. I'm going to do the setup off camera just because I'm going to be changing a lot about this planner and I don't know how to do that in a timely fashion. I could just film the whole process and edit it down later, but that would be a lot of editing because I'm changing a lot about, about the planner. So we'll see. I'm thinking doing a before and after. So then I could like um, just put on something in the background because sometimes when I'm not planning on camera, I like to watch planning videos and it's as if I'm planning with someone else in the room with me. I like having some kind of background noise, but also looking at how other people plan. And so this one just doesn't want to tear straight, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's just going to be crooked. So I'm thinking that's what I'll do. So I could just have some downtime. I think I'll cut it because it's this hump that is causing it. And I bought the mini Happy Planner originally to have an on-the-go planner because this B6stology, even though it is my everyday carry, it's my everything planner, it's getting chunky. And so it's not easy to throw this in my purse and carry it around. Well, it's not too thick right now, but this is only two and a half months. So at some point I'm going to need a planner that I can actually carry with me. And I thought maybe, just maybe, the mini happy planner would be the answer to that. But we shall see. It could just end up being a planner that I play in, which I think I need because this planner, I only decorate weekly, once a week. And then there's not much else to do besides write in my plans afterward. But I kind of want a planner to play in, not every day, but something that I could decorate or change up. Add in pages, take pages out, decorate kind of on a regular basis, more than just once a week. So that is the plan for the mini happy planner and I bought accessories to go with it, filler paper, um, and yeah I'm not going to say too much more about it because I will show, I will show it in another video. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I put my washi tape too tight on most of those days, but we're going to ignore that. Ignore the crinkle, the wrinkles, the, the buckling of the page and continue. So for the dates, I'm going to use the numbers and days sticker book by Agenda 52. We have these gold days of the week. And in the spirit of using my stash, I'm going to use this sheet from an old Shine Sticker Studio kit. And these have the numbers that I need. So let's do that. Let's start with Monday and let's try to get this down straight. This way I always turn my book. I know it might be tad bit annoying for the viewer for you to watch me turn my book sideways but 
it makes it easier for me to see what I'm doing and put stuff down the street. So that's the 20th. I don't know if these dates necessarily go with the gold, but we're doing it. We're going with it. Wednesday might be the issue because I'm gonna have to put the sticker over to the right just a little bit to be able to fit the number. So this is the 21st. I've been on the Shine Sticker Studio website looking for more kits to buy. They had a sale recently too, but I missed it. And so I'm trying to wait to see if there's going to be another sale. Cause there's, um, for the next holiday, I don't know. We'll see. If not, I have time cause I wanted to get their birthday sticker kit. My birthday is in September, so I have plenty of time before I need to actually get a kit for that. So I'm not in a rush. And I've been scoping out the craft stores because Michael's near me was not carrying Happy Planner stickers for the longest time. They got rid of their planners altogether um, and they were not carrying Happy Planner planners or stickers and then all of a sudden I went in just because I was in the area and I thought might as well look even though I'm probably going to be disappointed they're not going to have planners they're not going to have stickers they're not going to have anything and they had happy planner stickers and they were on sale so I got some and then I went to Joanne because there's one near my job and they've been having really good sales. Uh, Happy Planner was half off recently at Joanne of the new Happy Planner stuff too, which I was surprised by. So I've been getting good deals and they have um, a decent clearance aisle at Joanne, at least the one near me. There's one Joanne near me that's always messy, the clearance aisle. But then there's another one that um, is decently sized and relatively cleaner compared to the other Joanne. So I have been scoping out their aisles and their deals. Let's see, I'm pulling out, I should use this one for my weekly dashboard, but it's done now. I'm looking for the full box stickers. We need full box stickers and then checklist, which I could use this, which I think I will. Let's see. We need notes areas. These two could be good notes areas for each day. More box stickers. And I like to tear out the pages of my sticker books just because it makes it easier to plan. At least for me, it makes it easier to plan in the moment, but then it makes it harder later on when I'm trying to find pages of sticker books and they're all mixed in and I don't know what goes where. But we are thinking about the here and now. So right now, it's easier if I tear the pages out. So we're gonna take those and I think that's it for now. Let's see. I need more notes areas. I could use these. Okay. Okay, so, 
first, I like to put down a decorative box. Then for Monday, I'm going to use one of those notes areas. And then I want a checklist with a header. And I think we're going to be good. So let's do something simple because we have a quote right on this page on the weekly dashboard. So let's do something simple here. And let's just put a pattern. And then we want our notes area. Let's use this one. Then we want a list for our important items of the day. This is where I put appointments, important things that I need to remember, my priority items. And then for the list, we can use this checklist. I don't think the circles of the checklist line up with the boxes of the Stalogy, but it's really just for decoration. I could write wherever I need to. And then for the rest of the page, I always use this area to either extend my to-do list if I need to or write a little blurb about the day, but I also use it for decoration. So let's see. This book doesn't have much deco in it, so where is that other sticker book? It's right here. I don't know if you could hear that, but there's an ice cream truck outside. We live near a park, and there are always kids playing at the park. And the ice cream truck is taking advantage of that. And... Um, making a lot of sales because there's a lot of kids over there and they always go straight to the ice cream truck when it comes. So let's go to Tuesday, Wednesday. For this one, we could use this Bright Ideas. For these notes areas, let's use these. This one says, remember. Let's try to line it up. Oh, this washi tape is taller. So the box actually goes over the washi tape. Is that gonna bother me? Nope, it's not. <laughs> it's, I just, I can't be bothered with small things right now. So we are going to continue. Let's put down the decorative box for Wednesday. It says, when life gives you lemons, dot, dot, dot. We all know that saying. And then we can put down this one. And then we want our headers and our checklists. So here we can use review, mostly just because of the color. I like this color. This one we could use important. And then for the checklist, let's use red. We'll put the red one there. These are hard to get straight. And let's do Let's do green. Don't have a lot of green except the leaves of the lemon. The lemons. So let's. And then let's put some decoration. So we have this one that says life is sweet. 
I don't have much space to write now that I'm looking at it down here at the bottom. I could have moved this over to the side. Let's see if I could still do that. Nope, it's not coming up. So that one is staying. And then we can use this one here. Like that, that's cute. That's simple, but I like it. And then for Thursday, Friday, let's get our box stickers. Let's use this one that says Good Vibes. No, let's use the green one here. I think that makes a little bit more sense. I crinkled that sticker, but that's okay. And then we'll do the Squeeze the Day or Squeeze Today here. I just think this orange one matches nicely with all the orange and yellow on this page. Then let's do this one here. I am not putting stickers down straight today. I don't know what it is. I think I'm trying to move too fast or something is happening. And then we want our headers. We also have today stickers on here. So let's use some of these. Let's use the green one here. No, let's use the green one here. A little contrast and the red one here. Because this is our important items. We can use the yellow checklist here. And let's do the pink checklist here. And then we do want some decoration. You have what it takes. Let's do this one. I like it here. It takes up all of that space at the bottom. And let's do this corner piece right here. That's cute. I like it. It's very simple. It's very simple, nothing special, but it gets the job done. So let's see, the last two box stickers. I like this one that says good days ahead, so we'll use this one. And then this one that says thoughts, ideas, and plans. So we'll put these down here. I put that one down crooked too, it wrinkled. Could I get it up? Nope. And then we want our notes areas. The last two. And then I'm almost done with the sticker sheet. And then we'll do the priority here. And then we want our headers. For this one, let's do remember. If 
right there. We can do focus on right here, and I'm just eyeballing it. It's fine if it's not completely in line. And then let's do this color. Here, and let's do, let's just do the peach color again. We'll put that one there, and then we want some more decoration. I like this one, but it doesn't have any lemons in it. So let's do this. This one. Down here at the bottom. And let's do this one, this corner piece down here. And that was pretty quick considering that they didn't skip any parts. So now we need to write in our plans and today is Wednesday the 15th. So I'm planning a little bit ahead and things might come up. I do have to schedule some more doctor's appointments for myself, but for now, I like to put my appointments in this important priority area here. So I do want to note that I have a doctor's appointment at 1.30. Doctor appointment at 1.30 p.m. I also want to note that I work a half day from 7.30 to 12 noon and this week what do I need to do in terms of weekly tasks I know Saturday is my filming day so let's put film videos and I do write in my chores like take out the trash or put up laundry or charge the car or grocery shopping, laundry, vacuum. I do write that stuff in, but I write it in mostly the day of or the night before because that's when I know what needs to get done and what I have time and energy for. So it looks empty and blank right now, but it does fill up as the week goes on. I'm not going to fill in my meal plan because that depends on what we get at the grocery store. So for now, I think this is it. Let's see. Oh, I know I'm going to have to refill my meds this week because I won't get to it this week. So that's an item that I will migrate from the current weekly task area. Uh, I did that. I did that. Blood work I will have to do this week. Schedule doctor appointments I will do this week. Refill meds I moved. Schedule other appointment. I should do that this week. Yeah, I'll do that this week too. So I don't have much to add to next week. So let's just do a recap of what we've done and that will be it for me. So we did the weekly dashboard for the week of May 20th through the 26th. I have a list, my to-do list for the week, a little notes area at the bottom, habit trackers, a decorative box, my meal plan. Then we have a day per page. So I have a decorative box, a notes area, um, a checklist for my appointments and important items. And then I usually have space at the bottom 
to extend my to-do list or write a little bit about the day, but I put a big sticker here, so that space is taken up. And then we have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video and hanging out with me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.